ordinary mold. Welcome back to this edition of the 933 KFM. What's it? We're discussing um, uh, International Peace Day. Special focus on this country's young people. And uh, under the theme, Peace and Democracy, Make Your Voice Heard. There are issues we'll be talking about specifically in line with uh, the theme in a short while. But I'd like you to respond to Angelo's. Uh, and, and, and uh, Angelo's issues. He has quite a number of issues. And w- what is the OPM's planning? Is it planning for upper Naguru youth or lower Naguru youth? Yeah, uh, is it Charles, uh, Angelo ha- raised very interesting points. And, and to me, I, I think we need to look at what he raised uh, from uh, a, a perspective uh, of really rather being holistic. You know when you are talking about floods, you, you are talking about sewage, you are talking about uh, heavy rains and uh, air storms. Uh, these are issues to do with uh, disasters. These are issues to do with climate change, uh, which is, is is really beyond our control. And and I and I can assure you, Angel, really? you you I mean I mean I will tell you that the very very people you are trying to uh, you know advocate for. Uh, we, we ourselves as the communities we we we, we, we destroy environment and and i can assure you input determines output you're giving a political yeah. answer like no 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 this is not being are, political you are it's not when, 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 religious. When, when, when i'm just being when, scientific and can, saying can, can I that the floods we are facing right can, now can is I because of climate for change you, when you wake up in the morning yeah uh, get your shirt that put on your tie and walk to your office yeah and you believe that you work in a government office, you're making a contribution to this country's young people. Mm-hmm. And you knock out at 5 o'clock in the evening. Do you really feel that you have worked out with something tangible that you have done for the young people of this country? Mm-hmm. Are you able to segment and say, this is the issue we have? You are a young person yourself. Do you feel that government has done enough to prepare for you? Do you feel that working with government, you are doing enough? To cater for the young person in Upper Naguru, in those posh residences that are not connected to any central sewer system, and the Naguru, uh, the, 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 the youth of uh, uh, Naguru, uh, Lower Naguru, do you feel that? Do you feel that the government planning and programs are effective? Labora alone is effective to deal with the youth who live in Chimombasa, in, in Kawempe, and those who live in. Uh, Kalerwe and those who live in uh, Boise, because you, you you can't narrow this to youth of northern Uganda, because the youth of northern Uganda over the last two decades have been pouring into Kampala. You find them all over the street. The young people of Karamoja have been pouring into Kampala because life is hard where they, they in their home areas, and they have come to Kampala and they're living extremely hard lives, and you have a celebration. A commemoration which we shall have uh, a speech from the prime minister a speech from the minister for youth a speech from the minister for gender labor and social development you take lads. charles the issues you've raised are mm-hmm. valid mm. What's the but i will also answer? tell you <laughs> that uh, <laughs> this time is not a scientific <laughs> answer it's, it's a technical <laughs> answer <laughs> <laughs> you say it's a technical answer. Okay, go ahead. You see, there's nothing which is enough in this world. I so must tell you, is not have Godfrey made it very uh, clear that this country has been preoccupied mm. in creating a system, in preparing a runway for a plane to land. And that's why we are starting to upscale and plan for the young people. This and, and, and also, the, the Charles, really, uh, Angela, mm-hmm. really, let's be fair here. You mm-hmm. see, for me, I pity you people. Why do well, everything is why government? Do you pity government? Us? No, listen, because mm-hmm. I mean, everything is government. Government. I have never seen a government that wakes up in the morning, start distributing porridge in every household. I mean, there are certain things that we must do for ourselves. The way government... You, you like cannot see sewage coming to your house yeah, and, and you, you also see shout there and the government, 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 government. Uh, Let me tell you I something. I mean, let's also contribute uh, something. Uh, Lazarus, just one second. You get the point. Um, yeah, just one second. Before yes. you, you uh, shift blame to, um, to Ugandans. You yeah. see, I said that the infrastructure of the, com- of the country, both physical and institutional, is playing catch-up. Uh, and that's that is that is across the board. So today, you have no national ID, so there's no way of tracking 
even employment figures or how 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 you know young people are behaving within this largely informal economy our physical infrastructure in the city alone uh, Kampala is accounts for 60% of our gdp this city here is like the oasis of the economy just look at the, uh, the the crisis we are facing in physical planning alone our education institutions despite the money we have injected uh, in them over the last eight years in the case of uh, uh, universalizing basic education uh, the returns are abysmal okay the only good news i had today uh, with regard to to young people is that across the world childhood mortality to which uganda by the way is the 10 largest contributor you know is 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 falling across all million now yes. about 12 million you know across the that may, that may be good but we are facing a, a a crisis overall as a country before the sun sets on this generation of young people we will be having severe crisis you know simply by people moving uh, aggregating to small towns where the infrastructure is there so don't say that we shift the blame because we are all in this together and in Kampala here I was referring to uh, uh, to Naguru, but in fact, crime is price sensitive. Today we are dealing with an economic crisis, but you know the, all these youth, young people who can who don't have where to stay, what to eat, are getting out in the streets, and where they are desperate, they are committing crimes. Don't politicize that issue because that is what you're doing by saying that Ugandans should fend for themselves. No, they are, they are, they, the government of the day is tasked to ensure that we all uh, have common security. Um, uh, Godfrey, yeah. uh, I, I, I want like to, to draw. To yes, I'd like to draw you in by mm. give, giving another uh, possibly scenario. Yeah. yeah. One of the things, uh, an investigation into conflicts on the African continent, interviewed a rebel leader in Eastern Congo, and he said, "All you need is a satellite phone and two thousand US dollars. That will be enough to recruit desperate young people to join any conflict." on the African continent. And the satellite phone was to make deals to sell Congolese minerals. Yeah. And that applies to any part of the world. If you have a country like Uganda and you can promise uh, oil reserves, you can promise uh, business, whatever kind of business, you'll have people who are making deals for you. you, you you're making deals. Recently in April and May, to tie this discussion to the theme, peace and democracy, make your voice heard. In April and May, there were walk-to-walk -work protests in Kampala, largely. They spread to Gulu, they spread to Masaka, Mbarara, and a few other places. And government's major argument at the time was, these people are being paid by the opposition. Meaning that peace and democracy get significantly compromised if you have a youth population that is vulnerable to manipulation. But that because you speak a lot of politics without discussing the real issue, you lose the focus of why these youth are participating in a demonstration and whether they actually have valid reasons to participate in, the, in a demonstration. Do you hear that discussion? Will that discussion be part of this International Peace Day? The real issues affecting the young people and what makes them vulnerable? Uh, thank you, Charles. Uh, first of all, um, I just wanted to, to, to get back to the point Angelo raised about uh, global decrease in mortality. But at the same time, this same report you are talking about said actually Uganda is among the countries in the world where it is it, it was to grow up as, as a child. Mm, okay. It's, it, it's, it's so it's the it's, it's largest it's a contributor to, to, to childhood mortality. Yes, and it actually makes the point that uh, Uganda is one of the countries where it is really is is, is is bad to be a child. So that when we are talking about children, that means we are still talking about the same kind of population we are we are, we are referring to. Um, I want to say I agree with you in the sense that uh, the question of youth bulge it's not only in Congo. Actually, as we have said, even in Uganda, it's, it's, we need to do something. There's a situation in, on our hand. We need to do something. Because sincerely, the youth can easily be manipulated. When they don't have opportunity, even for older people, if you don't have an opportunity, anything that like presents for you a bread on your table, you will take it. And uh, I think when you look at uh, like... Uh, in most cases where there are natural mineral resources that can really be prone mm. uh, 
Say in the situation of Uganda, uh, yes, we have recently discovered oil, uh, and then we also have the situation in Congo. And and, and I think I, the government need to make the best use of the oil so that the investment can actually be felt by by the youth otherwise if it is not invested very well that can also be a problem like the the one in congo because in congo when we, uh, we are talking there are so many rebel groups and what uh, what are the fighting groups these are actually the young people sometimes they abduct them forcefully and conscript them but in some cases the people are actually joining willfully so we are, we are saying yes enough seems to be done but we are not doing enough we need to create more opportunities and and the challenge we have but the word opportunity uh, raj also suggests something positive right and uh, let's share some yes, good we 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 with lazarus who's looking rather dejected there mm. but you see a a, 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 a no, like no, for, no. for me personally mm. The reason why I would feel, uh, you know, that they, the government is shortchanging itself is because young people in large numbers, you know, eh, if you invest in them well, this is how you build great nations. Just look I around agree. the world. I then I we agree. Let's look around the world. Oh, yeah. We need to mm. come back and come back to this okay. question. It's live. It's hot.